Good morning, children. In the old-fashioned view of education, knowledge was taken out of books and transferred, often painfully, to the memory. But books are only one among many sources of knowledge. You know, for most of the last century, um, we were struggling to make technology do what we wanted in terms of learning. Now it's so good it can do anything we want. And the real question is, what do we want to do? I'm always researching on the internet and my opponents and my future opponents. I usually use MySpace for networking with other drummers. I can also contact other researchers anywhere in the world by email or by Skype. I tend to use video analysis a lot. We're in a world now that's peer-to-peer, -peer, that's viral, that's agile, where symmetry is the key word, where people exchange and swap their work and their learning. What technology allows us to do is to swap that learning all around the world. Every child must be given the chance to develop his talent and abilities to the maximum. So there's a huge mismatch between what we think learning used to be in schools and what we know successful learning is needing to generate in terms of ingenious, collaborative, gregarious, creative people. If you're held too tightly in school, when you're let go of, all you do is relax. You haven't learned to stand alone. And so part of the job of learning is to learn how to continue to learn. Look, technology allows us to take risks with our learning. We need that ability to, to learn from failure. If you tell me that I can't do something, then I've got to get up and prove you wrong. I learn a lot more from losing than I do from winning. It stops you from being complacent in the gym. You realise that you really have to work hard to achieve your dreams and your goals. Young people now have a much, much earlier idea about what they want to do and how they want to do it. The people that are the most passionate about what they do never, ever stop learning. I have been doing a heart surgery for the last 45 years and I'm still learning. Personalised learning for me was <laughs> going with what I loved at the beginning, which was uh, sport and cycling. If you choose something you want to do, uh, then you go with it with much more passion, with much more drive. The idea is to encourage them in the things they can do, not handicap them for the things they can't. The metrics we have to measure performance are going to be subtle, they're going to be varied, they're going to be different, they're going to be personalised. What technology allows us to do is weigh those measures of success against each other so we can see how we're doing and be ambitious for ourselves. The one thing we can be certain about is that you can't build one solution that fits all. You know, to, to properly deliver on those multiple variables, you need real complexity. And the only way we're going to get that real complexity is by harnessing the power and opportunity that technology has brought us. This isn't the information age, it's the learning age. The quicker people get their heads around that, the better.